Hi, um, good morning. Let's go ahead and take a look at those steps that you need to do to complete to get started. So from our home screen, you have already gone to this link, start here, Course Welcome. I'm sure you've already viewed the, my Course Welcome uh, video. So it's nice, uh, nice meeting all of you and I hope you enjoyed meeting me and learning, learning a little bit about me, my background, hobbies and such. Um, you clicked on the Getting Started video. Now let's go ahead and walk through the rest of this. So what this course is about. The course provides a broad introduction to computing, including computer and information technology concepts, economic and social implications of technology, database management, spreadsheet, word processing, and presentation applications. So the prerequisite knowledge. Now this is a computer literacy course. Uh, with that said, so you really aren't expected to have a lot of computer knowledge coming in, obviously. Now with that said though, um, that I include video instruction, but it's also beneficial for students to understand how to download and save files, organize files and folders, open files, access Microsoft Office, and then work within the web browser. So video is in, instructional videos included about how to do these things, but a little bit of knowledge coming into the course will be helpful. Now you also need reliable internet access as an online course, obviously, and, uh, and you can also check the minimum hardware specifications at this link, you know, and that's the minimum hardware specs for uh, your computer and your bandwidth issues. Uh, Netiquette, check that out. That's the uh, behavior in online classes. My response time uh, should be between 24 and 48 hours, typically 24 hours. Uh, please use the uh, either my email at, um, address, uh, scscott at nmsu.edu, or the Canvas inbox, of course. I'll communicate to you guys weekly um, through the announcements, through our, through our course announcements. Let you know what we've done, what's coming up next week, you know, those sorts of things, just keeping us up to date. Uh, navigation, two different kinds of navigation. We have the Canvas navigation, and this video helps us get around and learn, uh, get around Canvas. Our course site navigation will help us get a, learn to get around our course. So with the, with the modules, where the assignments are, um, all of those things. So let's check that out. Now, our course description, uh, this is actually some information that's in the syllabus, but our course description, uh, we talked about that our course objectives to really learn about computers, technology, and especially the applications. Um, our course structure, now I'll really be that learning facilitator in this kind of online course, this kind of online skills course. Uh, you have to really act as an independent learner. Understand when due dates are, schedule your time appropriately, uh, for doing homework. Uh, make sure you don't procrastinate, keep up with assignments, do all of those things. Um, you can also see the syllabus for additional information like course and campus policies, grading policy, and so on. Now here's uh, the, the book information. You need a textbook and of course Microsoft Office. Now with our textbook, the ebook is recommended. So, matter of fact, um, the ebook is strongly recommended. This is the ISBN for the ebook. You can go to this site to go ahead and order that ebook. I believe it's 133. Uh, you, you can also get the ebook, I believe, from the, or order the ebook from the bookstore as well. Um, so, this is really what's recommended. The, the we can also, and this is, I guess I have two ebook options, so let me explain. So this is the ebook with one year online access, and you get all those codes via email, so it's just more convenient and timely. This is the same ebook, but you get your uh, codes via ground delivery. So I would suggest using the first option with the first ISBN. Notice the ISBN numbers are a little bit different. Now, the third option is a textbook only. This textbook does not include data files nor the end of chapter projects. 
I have included data files and the end of chapter um, projects within our course. So there are links within our course to all that information. However, the ebook um, has the links and comes with all of that information. So this ebook is really what you need. Um, software, you need Office 2016. Now, you this course is intended to be used with um, a, a personal computer, a PC, an Intel box, and Office 2016. Now, two things. You can use Office 2013 and probably get by OK. okay. Um, but you'll be responsible. You, you might see some minor issues, some minor things coming up that are different. Uh, you'll have to sort those out. This course is not intended to be used with a Mac and Microsoft Office for the Mac. The Mac does not include the Microsoft Access software, that's the database software. It does include Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. There are some differences, so, so be aware that there are definitely some differences. You could kind of get by with a Mac using Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Uh, the Mac does not offer access, so if you're going to if you're going to um, use a Mac, you need to absolutely be certain that you have access to Microsoft Access someplace, uh, in a computer lab, at a library, someplace. Okay, so that's, that's um, I've had students not take that warning, not heed that warning, and we get to the access part of the course, which is the last part, and they simply can't do it because they have no access to Microsoft Access, and which kills their grades. So, uh, be sure going into the course you know where you can find this. Okay, so uh, and here are some instructions and you can get Microsoft Office on the PC for free and for the Mac uh, for free. These are the download instructions with uh, a lot of detail, a tutorial kind of step-by-step -step process. So um, now we will not use Snap. Both of these options come with Snap. We will not use it. Um, next step Enter a short biography in a discussions module. Uh, share what you feel comfortable sharing, family, interests, major, career plans, those sorts of things. Uh, don't share anything that you're not comfortable sharing. Our modules, uh, we have six modules. Computer Concepts, Windows Web, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. These are the dates that we are covering this. The one thing to note is that all of the Word assignments are due Monday, March 20th. That's the first day of spring break. If you don't want to be doing these over spring break, uh, make sure you finish them up by Friday before spring break. Um, that was the best way. Having those that due date and using that time is the best way to get through all of these modules that quickly. Um, at this point, you these this is all the getting started information. Uh, you can go ahead and click on this uh, link, going to Computer Concepts, and uh, start working on assignments. So uh, thank you very much. If you have any questions, please uh, email me or send me an a uh, Canvas inbox message. Thank you.